Hey guys, 1UP Indie here coming with a pretty sweet new addition to Game Maker Studio and this thing is excellent. So what am I talking about? We got the newest effects layer, which is a godsend. Why do I say that? Because um, let's face it, shaders are a little bit more difficult to play around, even though the effects are cool. But here we can, I don't know, for example, look at this stuff. What? just with a slider and then you got different kind of options so basically we're gonna make a nice deep dive into what you can do and what the practical applications are then of course a few other things which the newest runtime the 2.3 point something something doesn't really matter and then boom we got ourselves new cool features little caveat this thing is only enabled for now as a preview for subs yeah, not the biggest fan of that. But besides that, um, I guess this will be unlocked for everybody at some other point. So once again, if you want to know that and a few changes uh, concerning the newest runtime, which is pretty sweet, by the way, stick around. This is 1UP Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to boost the YouTube algorithm and boost me therefore. So once again, I must say, I love this feature. It's good. It's really good. So what am I talking about? So let's get rid of this dude here. And this is, for example, an example game. Doesn't really matter. And then boom, uh, once again, only for subs now. So if you are in the indie uh, paid subscription or the enter, enter entrepreneur, whatever it's called, then you got this enabled. If not, I didn't have it. So I had to make the subscription, even though mine is free for two years to something. Uh, yeah. So you just press on it and then for example this is just basically like a layer and now you see that there's nothing but then you got some uh, tech types but basically these are just shaders which are rendering everything which is below here with a specific thing so let's go from top to bottom and i must say this is so cool i really 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 like this feature so this is pretty sweet so let's for example go for color tint this is i guess the easiest one you just pick a different color and then you can tint your whole as you can see your whole game it's okay nothing to write home about it's just tinting your game yeah and for example if you say like mm, but i want it just to i don't know tint a few specific areas so let's go for example something like this boom then it's just tinting i don't know a specific area which is below but let's go for it top down all of this affected so let's go for colorize kind of same-ish but here you can actually change the intensity how you want to colorize and then what kind of color you want to have this is pretty cool why do i say that because now in the future and this is a little bit wonky because i can theoretically access it I cannot so here there are new things which are called fx and then blah blah get set and whatever and filters but there is no documentation to that online or offline or whatever so therefore this is now guesswork so i cannot work with that but the idea behind this is pretty cool so why is that so besides let's say you can that you can colorize it you can actually use this thing for example let's go for a grayish thing whitish grayish whitish then as you can see ah now we can actually desaturate we can actually do and use it for a day and night cycle so this is the pretty sweet part so you can actually use it for something like this or for a season cycle so you're going between winter and, and fall or whatever and then um, you can adjust it so here once again pretty sweet applications and what you see is for example once you start the game everything will be colorized like this so this is not just a preview this is how the game will look like in the end of course if you have some other shaders and so on then they will multiply or whatever but here once again pretty sweet stuff you can just use and change on the fly and preview it so this is pretty cool so unity only had this and now we have it too yes so once again Thank you for this really, really cool feature. So what is the next one? We go under, under desaturate. So here, depending what kind of uh, well, value you, you will go on the slider here, of course, you can just go with your values, uh, something like this, doesn't really matter. And here, once again, you can desaturate it. Desaturation, I guess, is pretty cool if you want to focus on specific areas. So let's say your player died, or for example, you want to focus on something which is on top. So let's say, uh, something, 
like this. And then on this specific layer, we input, let's say, something like this. And as you can see, now you can differentiate and say like, hey, okay, uh, we have a menu pop up or whatever. And boom, you just want it to be uh, on the thing which is below. So here, pretty cool stuff. So you can use it for focus or you can use it for a fade out if you like. So this is one of the things or I don't know, for time travel or for, I don't know, a, a past storyline. So once again, desaturate is your friend in this kind of regard. But let's go to our effect layer. And what do we, else do we have? Distort. This is kind of interesting because uh, you can go scale, scale. As you can see, this is kind of um, creating a water effect, a heat shader effect. And for now, of course, because I cannot change that. We can actually emulate and create very, very quickly our own uh, heat or water shader or whatever for a specific area, which is so cool. So once again, very cool application. Of course, you can, I don't know, change the range, how much you distort. <laughs> so you can play around with that. And once again, uh, you can instantly see how your game will look like. So once again, distort, pretty cool for heat shaders or water distortion shaders. Um, I don't know if you can do a pulse distortion. Not sure if you could actually achieve that with those kind of values once you can manipulate them in your object that we will see in the future. So the next thing, edge detect. Cannot say anything about that. This looks kind of interesting. I guess this is just for you to check out edges and whatever. This is, I guess, not for uh, some graphical stuff. So you can do this. Maybe you can, but I would say nah. Or for example, a blur. And here the interesting part is you have a default texture, which you use for the blur. For example, you can actually use your own one if you like. So what is the blur good for? So let's go for zero and then we go to one, blur, blur, blur. And then this stuff you can use actually uh, once again to have a focus for once again, putting nah on a specific layer. A thing so everything is kind of defocused and you just focus on the important stuff which is up front or for example you can actually use it for um, a fade out for example you go to a different level and then you just blur it out and then you fade out so you can combine two effects which is pretty sweet or for example this is very important for side scrollers because let's say you have parallax and then uh, it just looks really really much nicer if your backgrounds a little bit blurred so once again you create this nice blending of something which is more on the distant and then it's a little bit blurry therefore you can actually control that much more so once again pretty cool pretty pretty cool stuff so i love that so what is the next thing which we can do pixelate so once again this is pretty cool because you can actually pixelate let's go for one and then two, three, four, and then once again, pixelation, pretty cool. For once again, if you want to focus or I would use it, for example, for the SNES games, they use this a lot for going out of a level or going into a level. So for example, that was in what was a Secret of Mana, I guess it was like this. You were flying over the map and then boom, you entered a thing and then everything was turning around and then you kind of pixelated and jumped into the level and then, well, it pixelated out if you were in the kind of uh, 2D level later on. So pretty cool stuff, what you can do with pixelate. So once again, amazing effects on the fly and you can preview them. And then hopefully later we can just control them with an object. So basically we can fine tune them. Then I can make some videos by the way on this topic. So once again, pixelate, pretty cool stuff for, I don't know, fade out, death, focus, or as once again, side scroll ups for the background. And then we got posterized. This is kind of interesting. So here you got a slider. And then as you can see, it kind of, um, you can reduce or maximize kind of how many colors you have. And this is basically then creating instantly without you doing any kind of shenanigans, any kind of work, boom, a eight bit uh, game or four bit or whatever that is because we don't have so much colors here. So I guess it's an eight bit game. If you want to have a transition between, let's say, Old, good old 8-bit style As you, can see, yeah, you can play around and this is so so cool and then we got the newest uh, thing which i guess is pretty useless in my opinion i understand why it's there nah. <laughs> so i would say let's let's get rid of that so once again this is an extremely powerful shader 
on the fly preview tool which is then being applied to your game so once again and of course you can have multiple effects uh, as layers and they just stack on top of each other so once again godsend for beginners and for everybody else so let's jump into uh, the patch notes so this is the, the stuff if you like to uh, know a little bit more not too much important stuff so once again um, there were some rendering issues so this is the the thing what was the causing it so they changed uh, from OpenGL to this is uh, to direct 3d and basically this was causing lots of issues for me also so I couldn't uh, use it so once again this is pretty cool so this is of course fixing it speed is as normal I'm not sure if there are some drawbacks for example in the previous version if it was faster than this one it actually didn't test it out so I cannot tell you anything about this and then of course um, you can actually have those filters once again it just says for indie or enterprise users so basically subscriptions for now uh, which allows e blah, 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 blah. where is it have early access so basically we just have kind of a let's say you're getting honored for being a subscriber I'm not sure if i like this practice but okay this is the way it is once again extremely powerful feature love that they actually implemented it and then uh, what else can you do you can actually create templates of your where was that you can ah here we go you can actually create a template of your project and then you can reuse it not sure what this feature is i'm gonna uh, inquire on that one uh, anyway so basically you can actually use it and so basically this is i guess the new thing and you can you can just build on top of that if you like so let's say um, i don't know maybe an engine and then you have as, as a template and then you can um, in, insert that so not sure what that is i guess they had this kind of ish as a local import maybe this is the same maybe not not sure about that stuff so once again this is it um, if I had a little wish, so maybe if somebody, uh, somebody at YoYo is actually watching this, by the way, great job, uh, please <laughs> update the manual because I would like to make, you know, videos on this kind of stuff so I can uh, use it in a, a, well, more meaningful fashion. And then if I had some wishes, please add to our, I don't know, to these effects, the bloom effect, that would be excellent if you could and put that and then a pulse distortion so basically you have have kind of this water ripple effect on the screen which is just going out which is being used quite a lot in video games and then i would say i'm pretty much very satisfied how the whole thing uh, actually works so once again which one was it colorize then here yeah, I would, I would just say for colorize a little bit more options so I could kind of recreate and change let's say the hue or whatever and then uh, we can actually make some disco or some season <laughs> graphicals um, on the whole screen which is pretty cool so once again I love it of course this is um, a screen filling effect so for example if you don't like this if you just want it to be applied to a sp specific sprite or image or whatever for that you still have your your shaders but once again for these kind of effects just to with a few mouse clicks wow cool stuff so once again loving it already that was it for a very very long way too long video by the way uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and you can play around with it of course if you are a subscriber uh, to, to them so a sub sorry for that for the bad news for everybody else who's just using the free version i guess this is the way it goes but of course i will give you an update when it is available for everybody Alrighty, that was it from my side have a really good day and i will play around with that one up indeed